Alright, well, moving on from this. That's not what we're here to talk about. Now, I apologise for the weather, but friendly reminder of what country I'm currently in. So, this comes from the wonderful world of the supplies. Because thanks to a health and safety concern, they had to get rid of a large portion of their museum. Very bad for them, very good for me. Or in this case, for Mark. Is it like called Mark? I called him Mark, but that's it's alright. Um, so, this is rather interesting, and it cost a rather whopping £50. I know, very expensive. The carrier's not assembled right. We can see on here, diaphragm, US, U, that's the size, army, <laughs> gas mask. No idea what the fuck that used to say. Now, this carrier does actually have a name, if I remember correctly. These button poppers were shit when they first designed them, and they never stopped being shit. Okay, well, my tripod fell over, so that's fun. Or rather, the camera came out of the tripod. Um, right, so yes. The M4A1-NEP 1041-1. So, what, M4A1? That's my problem with this, is that, like, there's no wiki for the M3 diaphragm, because essentially a Mark III doesn't uh, an M3 doesn't exist. It's a, it's a sort of transitional period between the M2 and the, uh, uh, whatever, people were arguing about it, I didn't give a fuck. This is why I don't bother about American masks, not so a pain in the asshole. Then again, I like lags, so, what the fuck do I know? <coughs> Rather interesting strap system, this is a chest rig, if I remember rightly, feel free to correct me if I'm not. Um, if I'm not right. Sort of spike, and then this, and they push apart. So that in there and then it just does that and getting it off well it's a bit of a tricky affair but I'm sure you can work something out right because it's raining I've got to hurry this up so M3A1 if I remember rightly where's that bag because I need to Make sure the mask isn't getting soaking wet. Canister is in great condition. CC4 dot YY4 and 1-44. 975. Valve on the bottom is in immaculate condition. It says right there. United Car C A W R on the bottom. And the same print on the other side. Thing on the top there, we've got US M9A2 with um, a sort of P9 or 6D, I don't know, depending on which way you look at it. And this text which says Lot C48 256 CWS WSC and A. So, I don't know if this is the lightweight or the heavyweight canister. There's a little diamond shape right there on the connector. That's interesting. Um, so yes, here's a face piece. The reason that's in better condition than the face piece is because it's been sat in a museum. Uh, so it's been under lights, and because you can't close the bag properly with the filter and this while still in the storage uh, stuff, and I'm not taking it out before anyone has a shit fit, uh, the face piece was sticking out at an angle. So you can see this here is all brand new. And then we've got some light cracking up here. Now, it's completely sealed, obviously, you don't want to wear this anyway, so... It, he got it for 50 quid. It's still rather good. The hose itself is, uh, stuck and bent in position. But again, that's from poor storage of it being brand spanking new. It's not a case of mistreatment. I don't know if that's going to focus. There you go. Lot CT. 1943, so that would be April 1943, by General. Uh, General Robert, I don't know that company. And it says 10 on the side here, and then E42 and R92 with C2 there. Ignore that sound. 
The very thin sheet plastic voice diaphragm in there. This actually does unthread. You can see there. Oh, nice little valve. Some clear plastic there. Oh, that's such a pain in the ass getting this back on. There you go. There's a bit of stuff there, isn't that? Righty ho. So we can see here US and U. That's size universal, which doesn't fit me. The lenses are fairly yellowing, which is a shame. Like I say, there's a fair bit of surface cracking, but for 50 quid I'd say that's rather acceptable. What I like is that you can see where the string's sat for years. It's up to Mark whether or not he wants to take out the shape retainer. So yes, this is uh, US Armed Forces from Brightly, just... For fuck's sake... Why you not sit recently? There's your, uh, I think it was called a Y connector, if I remember correctly. The elastic's in great nick. There's a bit of rusting on here. I wonder if you could get it off. Mark's really good at restoration, to be fair. Uh, he restored by DTGR. There's no actual rubber tearing. As I say, there is some light cracking, which is a shame. I'd love to show you the inside of the mask, but I kind of can't. Um, I can sort of see part of it there where your mouth sits. It's not quite a proper all nasal cup, you uh. You gonna adjust? There you go. Sorry for a second. So yes. I'll need to uh, double check if it was the M3A1 or M4 because I completely forget. But it say in the title, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, inside the bag, there's a receipt. I don't know how much of this I can show. But, uh, yeah, good price. Inside here at the bottom, just see there, is a nice tin of anti-fog. Let's see if I pull this out and keep my finger there so I know exactly which loop it went in. It's the same as the one with the uh, M9, if I remember correctly. Well, that's sealed shut, so I'm not going to open it. And uh, you can see right there by the shape, that's the way the uh, canister goes. And I've still yet to uh, get an arrangement where... Uh, it's a bit gone a bit wet, damn. But um, I've still find, yet to find an arrangement where I can get this thing to seal with the mask in there. I'm going to uh, towel this off before I put it back in the bag to prevent rusting. But yes, M3 diaphragm, or M3 A1. Cool stuff, love it to bits. Like I say, not mine to keep, but I wouldn't keep it anyway because it's sealed and it's size U, so it's not really much use to me. I do apologise for the background noise, I don't get much choice. There you go. I'll do. I'll move you around here so you can have a nice view of some steaming GP5Ms. I'm still trying to find out because it doesn't say on the wiki, and if it does, I'm blind. If the uh, SHM66MU means Schlem Masker 66 membrane improved. No one seems to fucking know. Anyway, cool mask. Uh, hope it was fun.